So today, I'm going to be having my very first official story time, and I figured I would kick it off with a bang about talking about the time that I almost got arrested. I'm a good kid. I'm a good girl. I, like, never got in trouble in school. Like, I get yelled at and I start crying. I can't handle, like, I don't have a problem with discipline. I just personally, I can't handle it. I get so upset. And I just feel so guilty. So, like, the thought of me almost being arrested is, like, insane. So, I was in eighth grade. So, I was, like, 13, 14 when this happened. I was 13 when this happened. And... So I went to D.C. for my 8th grade class trip. Every year at the middle school I went to, the 8th grade would go to D.C. and they would go exploring at the mall, like the Holocaust Museum, the Native American Museum, like whole, all those museums. So when I went, I went with my mom and a girl from school. Um, but it really, it was just, my mom's my best friend, like her and I are so close, so it was really just like me and my mom bonding and everything. So we went to the Holocaust Museum and that was just, it was really interesting, like exploring everything. One of my favorite topics to learn about in history is definitely the Holocaust and World War II. I literally, I have a whole list of Holocaust documentaries on my Netflix list. So after the Holocaust Museum, we went to the Native American Museum and I, th I think it was that museum, I'm not exactly sure, but after we went to that museum, like outside, I don't remember what museum it was, but outside there's these giant like statues. And so my mom and I are like walking around, my mom has MS, so we had to take things a little slow, not to push her, so she like doesn't have, start having, you know, complications. So her and I are like walking around, I don't even know where this other girl is, I, I, I really don't remember, I just remember like riding the carousel with her, and like, that was it. I'm so sorry. I'm so tired. Okay. So, like, that was it. So, like, okay, so we were, like, outside, and we were looking at these, like, giant statues. So, like, it was the statue, and then it had, like, it had, like, just a little bit of, like, a fence around it, so you couldn't actually touch it. And it said, like, very clearly on this, like, giant sign, it said, don't touch the artwork. I, maybe it wasn't the name. Anyway, it doesn't matter what museum it was. So... My mom, she is a um, scrapbooker and blogger, so she takes a lot of pictures and everything. So she wanted me to get up close to the statue and take pictures. I swear to you, I did not touch the statue. But I was pretty close to it, and literally like four security guards came running out of this museum and they're like, don't touch the statue, don't touch the statue. They were like, they were like giant men like running at me full force, like screaming at me. There's this woman there who was like cussing my mom out. She was like, you need to take better care of your kid and blah, 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 like getting off in my business. So I was like, I didn't even touch the statue. And so like, then they called the cops because apparently I like, I don't even know. I don't even really know. I was just so scared because I was getting yelled at. And so, like, the officer that came, he was like, you damaged, like, historical property. And I'm like, I didn't even touch it. Won't anybody listen to me? I didn't even touch it. And he was like, I gotta have you arrested. And I was, like, crying. And my mom, whenever anybody messes with her kids, she goes, mm -mm 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 -mm. nobody messes with me. Especially, I didn't even do anything wrong. Like, all these people, it was, like, all men. And they were all just, like, yelling at me. And I'm just, like, a child. Like, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Like, sobbing my eyes out. So, like, finally my mom was, like, cussing, done cussing everybody out, like, done yelling at everybody. And then the cop was like, well, I'm just going to let you off with this warning, but you could be arrested. You would have been arrested if your mom wasn't here. And the security guards, like, just, like, went back into the thing. And so, like, after, like, that whole thing, the same woman that was, like, yelling at my mom at the beginning, she was like, you should have raised your child better to respect history and like not touch things that don't belong to her. Keep in mind that I didn't even freaking touch the statue. So my mom like basically mentally backhanded this woman and basically my entire day in Washington DC was ruined because I didn't touch a statue but everybody thought I did. So really it was honestly kind of a stupid reason to like almost be arrested if you think about it but it did happen and it definitely was very scary and I haven't been to Washington DC since. I just remember the bus ride, like I don't even, I just remember like getting a hot dog and 
like just I was so upset and so scared after that I was like mm. my mom was like it's fine nothing happened you're okay and I was like but then with my anxiety and like the whole paranoia that comes with the anxiety I was like Obama's gonna come and he's gonna arrest me like I that's not even possible and like what like I know I know it doesn't make any sense but I was like Obama's gonna arrest me and then I'm gonna end up in like a federal prison and I'm gonna be like hurt by terrorists and like totally like my mind went completely left field so the whole day was pretty much ruined for me because I almost got arrested um I know it was kind of a silly little story and I know it didn't take a whole long to tell but I've been wanting to tell you guys this for so long and I actually did like a little while ago I recorded this video but my SD card didn't save it so I never uploaded it so but here I am now telling you all about the story and the time that I almost got arrested in Washington DC if you're interested, like, I would love to hear what you have to say. Should I, like, do more story times? Because I have, like, a whole list, honey. A whole list. I would love to hear what you have to say, as always, in the comment section down below. And if you aren't already, please make sure you're subscribed. I hope you have enjoyed the story by the time that, you know, I almost got arrested.